What's up guys and welcome back to another video where I'm going to show you the process I undertook to make a pair of aluminium cast knuckle dusters using the loss foam method. I'll show you how I cut and prepared the foam before casting molten aluminium to take its place. So I'm going to start off by cutting the outline of the knuckle dusters I want to make in paper. I then take a section of this blue styrofoam sheet and use a glue stick to glue the paper to the foam. I then use my styrofoam cutter to cut the outline. You may notice that it's not very tidy and this can be resolved by going over the areas you missed. Or I found using a file will also work fine. I then use a torch to heat up a piece of nickel rod, which pierces a hole through the finger slots. I can then fit the wire through these holes and cut out the inside sections. This cutter comes with a detachable cutting frame. I loosen the screws from both ends and adjust it to the appropriate position in order to cut the foam in half. The screws are then tightened and we line up the foam up against the edge of the frame and cut the foam. And that's how you make the foam cutouts. I then fill a box with play sand until it's around a third full. And we place the foam inside. Notice I've added three sprues on each cutout. I then bury the cutouts until only the tops are showing. Shape the box to allow the sand to fill in any gaps. Then add some water to the surface where the metal will be poured. This will allow us to form the sand into a bowl shape to prevent the metal from I then fire up the furnace and melt down some scrap aluminium. The molten metal is poured into the bowl sections and the metal instantly vaporizes the foam and takes its place. After a few minutes the metal will have solidified and we can remove the castings, of which both came out looking really good. This is my first attempt at foam casting and I'm really happy with the outcome. I then clamp the cast into a vise and remove the sprues with a saw.
Once the metal on the last screw is thin enough, we can give it a few twists and it comes right off. A flat file is used to remove the rough metal left behind from the screws, as well as filing up the edges and the insides. and then use some sandpaper to tidy it up a little and there you go how to make a pair of metal cast knuckle dusters from foam if you enjoyed this video then don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already if you want to see more casting videos then let me know in the comments below I would also like to tell you that depending on where you live making such items may be deemed illegal this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only what I'm most likely going to do with these is melt them back down into ingots to be used for future casts, as I have no use for them. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.